if you know and have understood what mastery learning is i am sure now you have realized that mastery learning plays very important role in education if that is the situation how do we plan for mastery learning so here are some tips for all teachers teacher educators to plan our sessions to plan our teaching learning environments so as to achieve mastery let's see how to instruct mastery learning so basically we need to start with properly defined well defined outcomes our entire curriculum needs to be chunked and for every chunk we need to decide properly defined objectives on the basis of this well defined objectives we need to design our learning material and we need to design decide our instructional strategies teaching modeling practice formative evaluation reteaching reinforcement summative evaluation everything needs to be planned properly so that learners can achieve mastery so every unit may end with diagnostic test after diagnostic test depending on diagnosis of learners after finding out lacunae we plan for proper corrective feedback instruction information which will help learner to master that chunk and then proceed further so now here time to learn will vary time will depend on a particular learner's aptitude ability to learn and depends on the pace of every learner's learning so the learner here will not proceed further without achieving all outcomes of the previous module even prerequisites for every module will be defined because if we don't have prerequisites we cannot achieve out outcomes so first test prerequisites of learners ensure that they have already achieved prerequisites and tell them to face the new content so how does mastery learning impact learning we can achieve performance based learning which supports different learning styles of students which increases accountability of learners as well as teachers it improves student learning outcomes and we can address multiple subjects through mastery learning approach students feel responsible for learning every unit teachers feel responsible in helping learners achieve all these outcomes and this is how students entire learning process improves so what are advantages of this kind of mastery learning every learners first achieve all prerequisites before learning a new concept we always complain that our students basic funda are not clear our students are entering 8th standard but whatever was taught in 5th or 6th or 7th standard is not properly understood because we are not using mastery learning concept if we allot some time give some time to learners to browse brush up revise achieve skills contents outcomes required in previous standards which is prerequisite for the new content this problem will not arise and their achievement of further modules will certainly be more and that's why task analysis is very important if we are to achieve mastery every instructor will analyze task and decide what are outcomes of this particular content it will help that instructor to plan that learning environment properly systematically so now because teachers are aiming at mastery learning objectives of every unit for every activity will be well defined and then there will be no confusion there will be no abstractness to no uh, to see or to decide what outcomes are we achieving through this particular content or what objectives what outcomes are we planning for this particular activity without any ambiguity teacher can plan and learners can learn this is how we can break cycle of failure in the class the learning will be for everybody including all types of students 
even disadvantaged students because now we are ensuring mastery of almost all learners in the class over whatever outcomes we are designing for that particular class. Of course, there are certain limitations also. Not all students will progress at same pace and this will require 10 teachers who understand students pace of learning and plan accordingly. So, expert teachers, expert planners, expert instructional designers will be needed more and more if we really want to achieve mastery. And if we are talking about diagnostic test, if we are talking about remediation, then we will require quality remedial material. We will require some strategies which will provide corrective feedback to students which will we will also require some self-learning material which will help learners to go through concepts when they have extra time or when we allot them additional time to achieve mastery over the content. We also need to plan design several tests. So the time for planning instruction, time for developing new material and time for designing various diagnostic tests will be more required. Thank you.